What you're seeing on the screen is our Visual Studio Code setup. Uh, this includes our Ansible plugin for VS Code, which is available as part of our developer tools to the community today. But what we've added here is Wisdom. And Wisdom is our AI, and we're going to see if it can help us automate deploying a web application today. So let's go ahead and dive in by uh, writing some tasks. So I think the first thing that we need to do is install Nginx and Node.js 12 on RHEL. And this is a, just a classic web application setup, um, sort of common for us. And you know, this suggestion looks good. I, what I will say is the Wisdom AI is recommending to us this block, and this actually looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna hit tab and that's gonna accept the Wisdom AI's recommendation. I, I think the only change I would make is let's adjust the yum plugin to the DNF plugin just from a more modern standpoint. So now that we have Nginx and Node.js installed, I think the next thing that we need to do is install our Node.js dependencies. This is, a uh, fully expect this to be a large list, which is not atypical of Node.js deployments. You know, normally it would take us a little while to get this right. And I see there it's uh, invoking NPM and I see our dependencies there. And that, that list looks pretty good. It, we could we probably need to do a little bit of work on it, but uh, this is fine where we are right now. Now that we have our Node.js dependencies, Let's install our Nginx configuration. We'll do this before we start the service. We have written our own custom Nginx configuration, which is not atypical of deployments. Uh, and this, this looks great. This puts it into the right location and uh, it'll be ready to go once we bring that uh, Nginx service up. Uh, next, and we really don't wanna forget about this one, is let's go ahead and configure the SE Linux HTTP policy. You never wanna disable SE Linux, it's really important um, and we, we want to make sure that we've considered that and thought about it as part of our automation. So HTTPD can connect, can network connect, that looks good. State yes, persistent yes, that matches exactly what we want. Now that we have the SE Linux HTTP policy, let's go ahead and deploy our web app. Now our web app being a Node.js service, we're going to make sure this goes into the right location in the directory and, you know, we we have built this and we've tested it and deploying it. Uh, this, this looks good. We could maybe adjust some permissions, but I'm okay with this right at the moment. It's putting it in the right, loca right location. So after we deployed the web app, we can start and enable Nginx here. Now Nginx is configured to listen uh, and connect to our uh, web application Node.js service. And it's okay if we start and enable this first because uh, we're going to bring that web app up pretty quickly after that. So let's go ahead and deploy the web app service unit, which we've written. This needs to uh, start and enable as a separate service. Um, now we've written this systemd unit to bring everything up uh, as we would expect it, but um, we want to make sure that's deployed and started and activated, right? And so there it is. We uh, that, that looks good. It puts the uh, the systemd unit in the, in the place that, that we would expect. Um, next step will be configuring our web app settings. Uh, this is something that um, you know we can we can make some changes to this anytime we need, and then just rerun our playbook without having to make any big changes in automation. So once that's put down, uh, the web app itself is ready to go. So let's start and enable the web app. And uh, this, this is just going to make sure that the systemd unit is started and enabled, the one that we put down just a moment ago. Um, now, what's, in, what's interesting about this is the, the amount of time that we would have spent just getting to this point without the Wisdom AI's help, um, it, it, it would be non-trivial. Non -trivial. I think, you know, at least you know, 30 minutes, hour or something like that. And, and look how far we've come. Let's go ahead and take care of some of these handlers. Uh, now we will need to go back and fill in some of the handlers, but to, we'll just go ahead and set them up. We, we know there are gonna be places where we'll restart the web app. And um, that's good, that's good. It'll get triggered um, based on some of those tasks. And then we just need to make sure the Nginx 
handler is also taken care of. And um, this will pretty much make sure that the, the system restarts and reconfigures itself whenever we make any changes. So you know what, this looks good. We've, you know, in just a minute or two here, we've written out the entire entirety of our web application deployment, including handlers, web server configuration, uh, security configuration, Node.js applica application. I, I'd say this playbook is done and ready to be executed. Again, content generation is just the beginning of what's possible in automation with this artificial intelligence.